You mentioned the NHS there. Now, your government asked Lord Darzai, a very eminent no. surgeon, to look quickly into what was really going on in the NHS. Um, the report's coming out this Thursday, but can you share any of what he has found already? Yes, I can. I, mean, I asked him, he's an eminent uh, you know, surgeon, um, huge experience. I asked him to do a raw and honest assessment of the NHS, a diagnosis, if you like. He's been really clear that the NHS um, is broken, but not beaten. Um, and the reason he identifies, just I'll rattle through them without spending much time on them, is because of the money that was taken out of the NHS, particularly in the early years of the coalition 2010 um, onwards. Um, the Lansley reforms, which were hopelessly misconceived, spent a lot of, took a lot of money and had to be then reversed. Um, and then, of course, COVID on top of all that, which has put us in this awful position for the NHS. His diagnosis, my conclusion is, the only way out of this now is reform. I think only a Labour government can reform the NHS and therefore we will use his diagnosis as the platform for the reform that we now need to carry out in relation to the NHS. I promised we'd get the NHS on its feet again but I also promised I'd make it fit for the future and this is the diagnosis if you like the platform that allows us to properly understand the state of the NHS and why it's in that place but also when it comes to technology, when it comes to empowering GPs and preventative measures to look at how we're now going to reform the NHS so that we can not just look proudly, the Labour, Labour Party always looks back proudly and says we created the NHS and 75 plus years ago we've had uh, a fantastic NHS in many respects. What I want to ensure that is in 75 years people look back again and say we've still got a fantastic but NHS again, because of the work the 2024 Labour government did. But again isn't part of this actually quite a clear political strategy? It is going to be another moment when the new government is saying look look how terrible things are look at our inheritance aren't you managing people's expectation and if it's all this doom and gloom how can you expect people to feel inspired or hopeful about what you might be able to achieve? Well, two things there. Firstly, yes, we've got Lord Darz's um, analysis. I don't think anybody watching this is going to be surprised by his conclusion. I don't think they're going to say, well, when I went to a and &E, it was perfect. I was in and out in record time. Everybody watching this who has used the NHS or relatives have know that it's broken. They know that it's broken. That is unforgivable, the state of our NHS. Um, now, I don't think... Uh, anybody could say that's sort of just us um, claiming or performative inheritance. If there's one thing this country knows, it's the last government broke the NHS. Our job now, through Lord Darcy, is properly understand how that came about and bring about the reforms, starting with the first steps, the 40,000 extra appointments. But we've got to do the hard yards of reform as well. And as I say, I think it's only a Labour government that can do the reform that our NHS needs.